Okay, we've got a Cambridge Audio 8500 amplifier, in which the circuit board says 1998, so I guess that was presumably when this thing was manufactured or designed. And the problem with it is it's completely dead when you power it up. So, quick look around the circuit board. As we've got the top off, it's interesting, they've got these strange power transistors that are Darlington's and they've got a couple of resistors inside them as well and apparently they fail quite often but I've checked out all the various combinations of, of uh, pinouts on them and they, have, they look like they're okay. The rest of the circuitry looks okay. So obviously something that's dead. Look at the power supply. We've got the mains going in which goes onto this little board at the front here. The switch, I've tested the switch and that works okay, and the fuse on there is also fine. And the problem appears to be there's an open circuit between the, uh, on the well, open circuit on the primary winding of this transformer. Now, I've suspected it could be the, the wires could have a little break in them, although they're quite thick. So I managed to sort of pierce some little holes in the insulation with a little with a pin um, and sort of and I was still getting an open circuit connection away from where it's soldered into the PCB so the conclusion is the uh, transformers failed now the circuit diagram isn't very helpful like a lot of amplified circuit diagrams it never tells you anything at all about the power about the actual transformer so what it looks like a fit is one uh, is a 160 VA one that you can get from CPC, which has got two 30 volt um, secondary windings at about two and a half amps each. It's a big hefty thing. It was about 35 pounds. The the big one of the big problems with it it has to fit in this very tight gap in the amplifier. So also Cambridge don't give the information out about what the transformer is. So I had to sort of work back from the the DC voltage that the board operates uh, from to work out what the AC voltage of the secondary is needed to be. I mean, the, the secondary amps have got protected by a pair of four amp fuses. This, this transformer I've bought doesn't give out four amps on the secondaries, but I think it gives out about 2.6 on each one. But a bigger transformer wasn't gonna, wouldn't have fitted in this, in this gap. So, but this one, this one just about does. So, um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, this is the old uh, transformer. Looks nothing obviously burnt on it, but the primary winding is definitely open circuit. And I fitted in the replacement one. And it all seems to work fine. We now turn it on. It actually switches on. And I've put some audio through it and it sounds okay. So that one's fixed.